Yo, hey guys, what's up? This is your Yadavi Singh, and today I'm gonna talk about going out alone, solo sajing. Because most of the guys they're asking me again and again. Even my bootcamp students, they're like, okay, bro, three days bootcamp is done, but we are so fucking afraid whenever we go out solo. And today I'm gonna talk about why people are not going out solo, and why they should go solo, and how to do that. And by the end of this video, you'll come to know everything you need to know about going out solo. The only thing that will be lacking is execution. So you just need to go out and do whatever. I am going to tell you in this video right now, right here. The first thing why people are not going out solo is they are stuck in their comfort zone. I know they don't want to be there. There are so many desires. See, every person is having a lot of desires in his life. He wants to live a different kind of lifestyle. See, as humans, we are never satisfied with whatever we are having. Okay, so we always want something more, something more, something more, because that's a work of the ego. That the more you are having something, the more you are something. The more knowledge you are having, the more respected you are. The more you have something, the more you are something. That's the main principle that our mind follows. So you'll never be satisfied with whatever you are. So you're always stuck in the comfort zone. You're not going out of comfort zone. You want to. You don't want to be here. You yourself don't like it. You don't want to be in the comfort zone. You want what other people are getting. Whenever you see inside the community, guys are getting laid like this. They are going out doing pickup, but you are not getting anything. Why? Because the first thing is you are not even moving your ass. You are not even moving at all. You are not even going out and taking any action. So how will you get laid? So the first thing is you are stuck in your comfort zone. That is the first point where you are stopping yourself. Your parents are not stopping you. Society is. No one is stopping you except yourself. And that is where. You stuck. That's the first obstacle. The second reason why guys are not going out is they are afraid of the uncertainty. They are not afraid of getting slapped by the girl. They are not afraid of getting beaten by other people. They are not afraid of social pressure that so many people are looking at them. No, they are afraid of only one thing, and that is uncertainty. And what is that? I don't know what might happen. Something can happen. I don't know. I should not go out. Because something fucked up will happen, and everyone will come to know about it, and I'll be the one, and everyone, my parents, you know, their reputation will go down. Whatever, fuck the shit your mind is telling you. It, you know, pretty simple tricks that your mind plays. And if you cannot even look into those things, like, see, suppose whenever I'm going to go out, my mind will be like, bro, you are so comfortable right now. Go and get, go and get a drink, like drink a beer, come back home, play PUBG, play video games, and it will be so fucking amazing. You will do nothing. <laughs> and you'll be like yeah that's amazing i'll do nothing and that's fun doing nothing is fun why because when you do something that's not fun for you why because you don't enjoy it and that is totally opposite of pick up you have until or unless you enjoy pick up nothing is going to happen so the second thing is that you are afraid of uncertainty you're not going out because you might you're thinking that you will die and that's not you who's thinking that's your brain your brain is thinking that if you go out in the uncertainty you'll be you'll you'll, you'll be dead and this has been con conditioned you know this has been hardwired in our brain from quite a long period of time it is when you know our ancestors they used to go out for hunting they don't know from which side the tiger will attack they don't know from which side they'll get attacked by someone so they're always alert they're always alert our brain is always alert there's a there's even a small part of a brain that is called as amygdala that is called as the fear center of the brain okay and that is located at the lowermost region of the brain Amygdala is situated in the lowermost region. So all the information that passes through our brain, it goes through the amygdala, the top of our head. That is the most evolved part of our brain. So the information will not even go there if your amygdala receives threat from any situation. As soon as you receive threat, suppose a tiger is in front of you, your amygdala will activate. Run, run, run. Like woo woo, you'll be alert, you'll be sweating, your heartbeat will be fast. That is the same thing which is happening whenever you're going out and talking to women. You'll see a girl, you're in a set, like thak, 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 thak. oh my god, oh my god, oh shit, intimidated, intimidated, oh shit, she's she's smiling. What should I do now? What should I say? Boom. This is uncertainty. You don't know what to do. So there are two things. Suppose you're going to do skydiving. You don't know what is going to happen. But when you're skydiving, the thing that is happening, that is the uncertainty. You are facing the death itself. When you do go for deep sea diving, what is it? We see death as thrill. But if you have a weak mind, if you're not taking much action, if you don't have enough proof that you are not going to die, you'll see it as a threat. Your amygdala will activate any moment it receives any kind of threat. So how do you train your amygdala not to activate whenever you see a girl? You have to go out and talk to a lot of women. Talking to a lot of women, your brain will receive the signals that nothing is happening. 
it was just a belief and nothing happened when i talked to women and boom next time you go and talk to a woman your amygdala won't get reacted it won't start working it will be like yeah normal normal so it's like the first time you know you pet crocodiles okay <laughs> the first time you pet crocodiles like shit 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 this shit this shit that shit but when you start spending time with them again and again it's like yeah they don't even move at all like my friend owns own the crocodile shit <laughs> and he's like petting him petting him petting him and he don't even do anything but when i go i'm like bro what the fuck is this shit what are you doing and like bro he's so cute are you getting this he has trained the fear center of his brain his amygdala that whenever he sees a crocodile he's not afraid he's like he's my friend and how did he get that reference by seeing the same thing again and again seeing the fucking same thing again and again and that's how his brain brain got trained so you are not afraid of anything whenever you're going out and talking to women except the uncertainty so what to do embrace the uncertainty and the third reason why you're not going out is you're not a self fulfilled man in your own eyes you're like you have to do this in your life you suck at this you suck at that you suck at this and when you see yourself not in the mirror when you just see yourself in your own head you're like who the fuck is this guy man this guy is nothing you know when i see myself i'm like whatever whoever however i am this is me and i've got nothing to lose if i'm going and talking to women i have got nothing to lose before talking to women i was like this after talking to women i'll be like this even after having sex this is me nothing changed but the ego is like okay if i go and talk if i'm going and talking to women and if they rejected me my ego shatters something changed and if they get they accepted me if the set goes well and you have sex then you're like yeah i did it pride so you see different kinds of emotions are introducing inside you whenever you're going through different kind of shit so you're thinking that you're changing you're changing you're going up or you're going down but no nothing is happening even if you have a lot of sex with women you're still there it's you even if you get rejected by 1 lakh women it's still you you are the common denominator you'll always going to be like this so accept yourself however you are be self fulfilled first and to be self fulfilled you don't need any kind of material it is an internal feeling of being self fulfilled self contented self contentment be self contented so now i'm going to talk about why you guys should go out alone the first thing the first reason why you should go out alone is you will be free from the judgment so whenever you're going out suppose you're going out to one place Okay so that is your venue you always go there and that's where you start doing the game so whenever you have this particular place in your mind there will be lot of expectations inside you that okay so i'm going to game there this will happen that will happen that will happen this will happen that will happen but on the way to that place you won't even open any door no as soon as you step out of the home even if you see a dog start talking to the dog you see a little girl start talking to the little girl you see a mom and daughter walking like little daughter you compliment the mom that a cute baby and then you're doing this you know you're building up the emotional muscles like complimenting complimenting observing of obs- your observation mode is on you're looking at people you're looking at everything suppose there's a big huge banyan tree in front of you like oh my god you might be 200 years old yeah what's up high five tree like you're even talking to the fucking trees talk to everyone whenever you step out of the home so you get free from the judgment and when you get free from the judgment it is not even it is not only in one part of the life that you'll be free from the judgment you'll be free from the judgment in all the parts of your life even the people you are going to meet every day you're not going to judge them if they are going to give you something if you can get something from them or not no nothing at all nothing like that you'll be free from judgment you'll be always be totally offering value value no leeching at all whenever you are a judgmental person you always look for what's in return what am i going to get what is in it for me but whenever you are free of judgment you always give like i don't even care what i get i am here just for giving the second reason why you should go out alone is freedom from the results see whenever you're going out alone you have no friend of yours who is going to judge you see you rejected she rejected you oh my god she rejected you no no one is there to judge you even if you keep on getting rejected 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 there is no one to judge you and that is the freedom from the results see result thinking about the results introduce expectations and when those expectations are not fulfilled you feel sad and then you're like shit pick up is not my cup of tea no you'll have to be free from the results and that's when you get results you know there is a famous saying think about 
the work to do don't think about the fruit so think about the work to do don't think about the result think about talking to her not not even think about it go and talk to her instead of thinking about the result what am i going to get so that will happen only when you're going out alone you don't have any friends who are going to judge you you're not having any friends who are going to motivate you even if you get late you'll be just alone just the way you are in this world alone and that is the best way to learn pickup solo and now i'm going to tell you how to go out solo so the first thing that you always need to remember when you whenever you're going out solo is the first 5 sets doesn't even count okay give yourself freedom you have 5 sets to fuck up like you can see most of the guys they don't even allow themselves to fuck up the sets you can fuck up the sets you have the permission to fuck up the sets your first set doesn't have to go really fucking well it's okay first 5 sets doesn't even count use these first 5 sets to get in the fucking state whatever state it is you know that state what we call as flow where you're like you know just you're just in the flow whatever comes in your mind you're just coming out so use these first 5 steps first 5 sets to get in the state of flow and don't wait for the flow to come in just keep on doing it keep on doing it and flow will build itself up so the first 5 set rule the first 5 set doesn't even fucking count as i've already told you the second way of going out solo is talk to the first person that you meet as soon as you step out of your home whether it be a dog a tree a security guard a kamwali by anyone start talking there so that once you reach there there'll be a momentum building up building up building up and you don't you know the first five sets rule it won't even count if you if you'll do the second step and that is talk to everyone as soon as you step out of the home and the third way to to be going out solo is don't accept any excuses so your brain will keep on giving excuses because I've, as i've already told you there is a amygdala the fear center so the fear center will keep on sending signals of oh shit what is happening what is happening what is happening but don't accept any excuse don't fucking accept you what is the as as long as you are alive your brain is going to come up with thoughts that is how you know that you're alive a dead person cannot think that there is no fucking brain activity shown in mri scans but a living person can think there is brain activity so that means as long as you're alive thoughts are going to come but don't take those fucking thoughts seriously if you're like oh shit i cannot do that i cannot do that it's just a thought don't accept any fucking excuse coming up in your head whenever you're going out solo you see a set within 3 seconds boom in the set and the last thing that you need to know whenever you're going out solo is accept your vulnerabilities okay there's a lot there's, there's a lot of complex inside every one of us i'm black you know that's the first thing so many people have i'm black i'm getting bald i'm like very slim i'm like very tall i'm very short like so many excuses popping up but that is how you are can you change your biochemistry no you cannot can you change your biology little bit but still no you cannot do that that is you however whatever wherever you are you are enough accept your vulnerabilities people are attracted towards each others rough edges that's what mark mention says so these are all the ways by which you can go out solo and fucking kill it and if you have liked this video Give me a comment and tell me how was it whenever you went out and executed this how is it how it happened how it went through and then we're going to talk more about it like this video and share it until next fucking time